you know, in so many ways, the new renovated Lowry Center is the real embodiment of the Connect, Create, Discover strategic plan. It was an opportunity for us to really re recreate in a meaningful way spaces for student engagement, for faculty, staff, student engagement, for the Worcester community to engage in a way that the previous Lowry Center really didn't enable us to do. And by co-locating important student services like residence life, student life, student activities, along with dining and things that students need on a day-to-day -day basis, it's really gonna create a hub of student activity. We broke ground in May of 2020 in a time of incredible uncertainty for the campus, but also for the world. But the board, the administration, the campus had belief that regardless of the pandemic, that this was a timeless priority. This was an initiative that had to take place. And I think donors understood that in order for the college to be able to not only exist, but to thrive and succeed for the next 50, 60 years, having a revenge in Lowry was critical to that. So the donor support for this building in a lot of ways at such an interesting time in history, I think says so much about Worcester and says so much about the importance of this project. The new Lowry has provided us with the additional space that we needed to be able to provide more plant-based options for the students and also offer the zone station where we offer food without the nine major allergens. We also have a new online ordering platform where students can order their late night meals from anywhere and pick them up in a food locker. I never get tired of hearing, that's so cool, when the students open those food lockers. It's been wonderful seeing the reaction of people, especially the first time they come in to have a meal. They are just overwhelmed with the brightness of the space. They give us compliments on the food every single day. And a lot of times we'll find students here just sitting around and talking for hours. They like to gather and engage here and it's a really great thing to see. I love how the new Lowry Center just has every option close by together. You're able to see your options if you have preferences, if you're feeling for a certain type of food, if you have allergies, you're just able to see everything at once and it just brings everyone closer together for meal times. I've also loved seeing the different themes they've had over the few months for the diverse campus that we have, whether it's a celebration for a particular group of people or for everyone else. It's just nice to have food from that particular place. I also love the new modern look of the Laurie Center. Just how it's bright, it just puts everyone in a good mood, it's colorful, you know, have a good time with your friends while having a meal. Equity and inclusion begins, of course, by centering students. And so rather than designing our facilities for the convenience of faculty and staff, we need to design them around the holistic lives, needs, and interests of our students so that students can build social connections with faculty, with staff, and with each other, which we know are very important for their persistence, their achievement, and their success. Building this space facilitates the kind of social and academic integration that our students deserve and our mission promises. The Lowry Student Center is a uh... A uh, really impressive project funded by many donors and it's really important to the core of, of student life. Here in the Lowry Student Center we have the Residence Life Office, the Dean of Students Office, the Office of Student Engagement and the Center for Diversity and Inclusion all under one roof. So giving you a one-stop shop for the student experience. It creates a, a place for community. Since this place has been open the second floor specifically, I've noticed a change in student climate. It just creates a great space for students to live, to learn, and to thrive here at the College of Worcester. So we're looking forward to meeting students and working with them more on a daily basis. We're also looking forward to working with each other more. So this allows us to work on our teamwork, allows us to really work with student issues all together in one place under one roof. Today's high school students are expecting a diverse, interconnected campus community, a place that provides engaging ways for students to connect, support, and learn from one another. The Lowry renovation has done just that. It has created vibrant, welcoming spaces for our students to gather, whether it's for large celebrations, fun events, or an intimate chat among close friends. We have 75 countries represented in our 2,000 students, and so the world comes to Worcester, and the new Lowry is the heart of it all. 
So I am a tour guide, and so we've been anticipating the opening of New Lowry for a while, and like especially telling families about it. And I walked up here and like mouth literally dropped. Fully had no expectations for what Upstairs Lowry was gonna look like, or Lowry in general, but especially up here, like walking through and seeing all the little cubbies and everything, I was just like, completely shocked. I'm really hopeful that the space is going to bring everyone together. One thing that I love about Worcester is how many resources there are, but I found that like during my time here, sometimes it's like hard to know like where they're all at, but being all in one space, I'm hoping that this just makes it like super easy for students to not only like use the resources, but also to get to know the staff, because that has been really important for me during my time at Worcester, is like knowing dining staff and knowing some of the people that work in CDI. And now I can like run into them on a daily basis, which is super cool. So I'm hoping that it will not only foster a using of the resources, but also more community between staff and students. These buildings don't happen on their own and they don't happen overnight. And whether it's the input from faculty, staff, and students in terms of design, the expertise of Bergmeier Architects out of Boston, local Bogner Construction, which has constructed so many buildings on this campus now for over 100 years. Those partnerships, those collaborations, those synergies of ideas and expertise, and long-term investment in the college has really transformed this building in ways that I think even on paper we didn't imagine were possible. This has taken a tremendous amount of patience and fortitude, and it couldn't have been done without the help of our facilities crew who really stewarded this project, working with our external partners to make this vision a reality. Thank you for creating a beautiful space for students to come and connect with one another. Thank you for your donation. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us in our academic endeavors.